Hey guys, what's up? We are that horror couple. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we are back to do a Walking Dead review slash breakdown of episode 13 titled Warlords. Warlords. Did we talk about a big episode. Oh yes, very big episode. Some story arc changes. Like we're so excited to dive right in and talk about it with you guys. I wasn't expecting a big episode, but this was a big episode in the sense like certain storylines went a certain way, certain characters are now in danger for sure yes and like i said the commonwealth i'm like they're gonna come unraveled and people are gonna know mm -hmm. they're no good and this yep. is the episode and it's a father gabriel and aaron episode and when those two guys join horses it's always awesome it's awesome mm -hmm. they were like not in my house commonwealth there you go mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> starts off seemingly with Lydia and Elijah like flirting a little bit like mm -hmm. seeming like they might have like a potential relationship in the future which would be really cool. So Lydia's like swiping right on Tinder? I guess so. Nice. <laughs> and we see her and Maggie and Elijah and and they're driving um down the road and we actually get to hear uh, Maggie tell them a story about uh, her father. And Yeah when... I, I like that too because it brought back the, the character of the the Herschel that we all love. Scott loved. Wilson, and, yeah. yeah. And, and, and it also explained why Maggie do, feel, doesn't, she, it's important to her to have her independence in this yeah, world. Yeah, to not ask help for other and people. And not be people. dependent on people because mm -hmm. you can't trust anybody. Yeah. And this whole time, we've been calling Maggie crazy. She lost her mind. Crazy. She lost her mind. Dude, I apologize to Miss Maggie. Yeah. She was correct. Yeah, she was. Don't trust these like stormtrooper wannabes. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I don't trust this shit. No. And then on the road, they come across some dead Commonwealth soldiers. And this is where they run into Aaron, who basically tells them, like, he, you know, he's in trouble and Gabriel is caught. They need, He needs their help, like, to get them out. Like, and then it's it, like, this This episode actually plays with time a lot. It does, like, flashbacks and, and, yeah, and or it's whatever. When they do yeah, that. and, and they're tr <clears throat> in order to tell the story, which I thought was really cool. Well, it turns out the Commonwealth got ripped off with guns. Yes. Right? Someone, the, someone robbed the Commonwealth. Someone robbed the Commonwealth's carriage carrying guns, and they just assumed that it was this other small community. And Lance gets this guy, Toby, to investigate it. Yes. And it turns out Toby. At first, you think he's okay, but he turns out to be a sick bastard. Yeah, he's like an ex-CIA agent, but he's really crazy. and it, like Toby was a sick bastard. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen a character this sick. I think he's worse than Bad Negan was. Yeah, and the governor. Well, yeah. he, he reminds me of the governor a little. Yeah. Long. He's yeah. just sick. Anyway, so he totally lies to Aaron and mm -hmm. fucking... What's he tell them? Well, what, he's like, we want you to go in and negotiate with these people. We want them to join our community. Send an invitation to them. So the, uh, Aaron and Gabriel go inside with Toby... And it turns out that, you know, the Commonwealth was lying to Aaron and Gabriel. They really just want to look for their missing guns. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, like, when he's doing this, he's literally not even giving these people a chance to, like, you know, explain. He's just, he's literally throwing them off. He's throwing them off a roof. He's killing them. He doesn't care. He's crazy. And I think that, that and is this where we find out Negan is, like, this is where he's been the whole yes, time? Yes, this is where we find out that oh. this is where Negan has been this whole time. Guess he joined a back. new community. Back again. Back. <laughs> he joined a he's new got a girlfriend oh yes and we find out that he is uh, in this episode we're kind of introduced to annie which is uh negan's uh lady friend you know how like rick had michonne yeah well this is like you know like kind of like his uh michonne yeah, okay his okay. Hot black yeah chick. there you go there Damn. you go very sexy. <laughs> so then towards the end of the episode, we get to see um, Maggie, Elijah, and Lydia come back in with Aaron uh, to help protect this community that, mm -hmm. you know, since the Commonwealth was trying to, to kill all of them. Well, didn't Maggie, when she broke in finally, she overhears Toby saying, like, just, just take them all out. Take yeah. them all out. Mm -hmm. So she, Maggie knows, like, all about bad people at this yeah. point. She knows who not to trust. And, and, it was awesome when fucking Maggie showed up at the end, to, and I'm like, okay, good. Now, now they have somebody that can fucking give them a challenge. Oh yeah, so that was so awesome. These people were like, you know, I think I think Negan was even hiding in like. I don't yeah, know. they were. They they're not like soldiers, you know. They're not fighters, so. Yeah, and I I was concerned with the, uh, 
the well-being of like you know Aaron and Father Gabriel in this yeah, episode. Yeah, so you're nervous for. Well, them I was proud of them too because they weren't for, taking any shit. Yeah, going up against Toby. Yeah, they're like, like they're like we're not doing this, no. And basically, what that means now for Aaron and Gabriel is that they are banished from the Commonwealth. They can't go back, basically. And where does that put them though? Because they they both have kids. Yeah, it's it's crazy. They both have kids that live in the Commonwealth. Yeah. Um, you know, Aaron has Gracie. Yeah. And Father Gabriel has uh, Coco, Coco with Rosita. Yeah. yeah. So their kids are there, so mm -hmm. it puts them in like a really like weird spot, it's like a rock and a hard place. Yeah. So we're very interested to see uh, what happens next for our beloved Walking Dead characters. It was a good build up, and uh, you know Maggie's in the house with her crew now, and she's ready to kick ass. And oh yeah. This whole time we're like Maggie's nuts. She lost her mind. Thank God we have a crazy person going after right? Tony. Right. There you God. go. There you go. I'm so happy Maggie is nuts. Yeah. If Maggie was the innocent farm girl and she broke in, I'd be like, oh, no. Oh, We're no. We're doomed. Yeah. Now I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> so if you guys have seen episode 13 of part two of season 11 of The Walking Dead, please comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on a part two of the season so far. Are you excited? Are you not? Like this video. Hit the bell. She's like walking in there with like her gun. She's like, this one's for you, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> We're not trusting anybody. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hit the bell, subscribe to our channel for more awesome horror content and reviews. Once again, I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we'll see you guys next time. Dead, horror couple.